Hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing Uncharted 1 on Brutal Difficulty. This is my guide. We're now on chapter 16 of 22. It is entitled The Treasure Vault. So um, there are many a treasure um, on this chapter. You won't see any glinting treasures though because I already went through the game and collected all the treasures. I'm probably going to be doing that for the entire trilogy. And uh, this chapter has one fight that's um, kind of hard but I really enjoy I really enjoy doing it so um, we're just gonna go directly to um, where we need to go over here without any side diversions and what I believe I have I think I've still got the um, the M4 as well as the uh, the stronger 9mm and um, even though this is a two bullet uh, kill difficulty which is to say the first bullet puts you to critical the second finishes you off um, which is uh, much less forgiving than crushing difficulty is um, there are weapons that enemies use in this game that can one-shot you um, case in point the um, the 44 the magnum it can instantly kill you so on this next fight there are I believe there's two uh, maybe two guys. I know there's one guy that has it. There may be two guys. Um, so when they shoot you, it's over. You don't get any second chances. Um, once the trilogy is finished, I will um, I will let you know how many times I died. Uh, most of the time, though, I get so impatient that uh, the second I die, I quickly just go into the menu and reset the checkpoint with without allowing um, the actual... Um, the game over screen to, to dissolve and start up again. Um, it, it's just being in, extremely impatient and wanting to just quickly restart. So I do believe that um, if you don't let the bleed out screen occur and dissolve and start up again, and rather if you um, reset the checkpoint the second you die, I don't think that the game counts that as a death. So um, when I show you the, the count at the end of the third game, it, it might not be accurate um, and, uh, and and what this game does from my recollection is um, it, it only tells you um, how many times you've died um, in totality of the trilogy it doesn't um, tell you how many times you died on each individual game from what I remember there's a bunch of statistics for each game but um, I do believe that the amount of deaths is a is a sum of all three games so anyway, um, we're about to do the fight coming up, and um, th there isn't very much cover, but um, you can still make do with what you have. You really can. Some of these treasures too were really difficult to find, and uh, and like I like I said, I would highly recommend a channel called PS4 Trophies. It's run by someone named Brian, and uh, he walked me through the entire trophy trophy um, locations and uh, I think he has them for all the games so um, you I would definitely recommend that um, the treasures in this game aren't aren't hidden that that obscurely but I, I remember in the second game and maybe in the third uh, it's it's crazy how hard they hide those treasures But uh, I'm just relieved that um, we're done, you know, with uh, with the navigating so far. There's going to be a cutscene up here with Eddie. And now, um, the first guy, what I do is I go into cover. And um, I take him out with the M4. There's going to be one guy on the stairs. I don't think he ever killed me. But I do know that um, there's at least two guys that charge you. And... Um, another one of the weapons that can kill you instantly is the shotgun and one of the guys that charges you has a shotgun too and you also always want to be feathering the trigger um, you don't want the um, the gun reticle to blossom and spread because that makes the um, the firing more inaccurate there's also a couple of um, exploding barrels over here there's one that I just shot there and then there's one in the distance look at these grenades 
Fair for the player, unfair for the AI. You've got to love that. <laughs> and, and when I say unfair for the AI, it's not completely unfair for the AI, but it, it, at least you don't get taken advantage of. Um, B, B, I can't stress how, how deadly these guys are. I, I was going to say the word tough, but they're really not tough. They're just really deadly. Um, this guy here, he'll put you down and you don't get any second chances. That guy right there. There's also a guy um, a little bit in the distance, um, beyond where that guy was that I just killed. There's an exploding barrel next to him too. I didn't realize it until after the fight. Um, but whatever he has, he instantly kills you too. And, and what you want to be doing now is just um, hiding behind this cover and shooting in between the slats. And at some point, there's going to be... Um, see the guy to the left with that shotgun? See him to the left right there? Behind that uh, column? Well, uh, if you ever see him running towards you, it means he's charging you. See him? Watch. He's charging me. So what I would recommend is just uh, blind fire. Blind fire at him and, and put him down. Um... Once you kill all of these enemies too, you've also got to kill two red-shirted uh, grenade launcher guys as well. Um, I did die on uh, on the second one as well. I got really upset because I thought they had given me a checkpoint. So, you know, just, just do your surveying over here, see what's going on. Be careful as you advance up here. I think we've killed almost everybody except this guy over here. Um, Elena really doesn't do that good of a job about killing enemies. Uh, there he is. That, that first grenade launcher guy has spawned. Um, there is such a thing as a fail state in this game where if you don't do anything and, and just allow Elena to kill everybody, um, the game will, um, will fail you because it knows that you're not participating and this is a participatory game. You can't just let Elena do everything for you. Um, you know... Anyway, okay, now there's one more guy left before you get a checkpoint. Hide behind cover. He's going to spawn a little bit up and to the left. See him right there? So what I would do is just wait until he fires, jump over the uh, barricade, and then just employ the third-person cover trick. Let him shoot, and then just advance. Um, the damage on him is, is definitely from crushing. It doesn't outright kill you if it, um, if it just grazes you or even hits you in... Um, not a direct manner so it, it I think it can kill you if it makes direct contact with you there's a point of interest right there you don't have to inter interact with it um, you get a checkpoint at this at this location over here so um, you want to head over here to the right and take care of this guy with the shotgun and I don't think did I pick up that shotgun I don't I don't think I picked up the shotgun I'm curious to see what happens over here actually because um, I can't tell if that's the shotgun. Did I pick it up? I may have picked it up. Um, yeah, okay. Apparently I picked it up. I don't remember pressing the triangle button to pick it up. Um, but anyway, now we're going to activate the winch over here so that Elena can come up. Now you want, might be asking why not pick up the M79? Uh, I, I just... I, I don't know. I don't know, but it, it would be helpful here. This is co close quarters combat. You're going to be needing the shotgun in the next chapter to um, adequately deal with the... Um, uh, with the... What, what the fuck are those guys called? Uh, I, I can't remember what they're called. They're called something like the deceased or the the unforgiven or something like that. But uh, hasten hasten your way up here. There's going to be a guy to the left. I'm going to charge him and by the grace of God, um, get a um, get a kill on him. And then there's there should just be one more guy over here to the left. Um, and I I don't I don't think you need to kill him so. Feel free to disregard this guy, but do so at your own peril. And uh, that is the extent of the chapter. I like this level. I like it. Um, 
I thought as I was heading up this spiraling staircase that there may have been another uh, guy waiting for me up here, but it turns out that there was not. Was not. So that has been chapter seven, 16, guys. I'm sorry. I will see you in 17. Take care.